Hi, YouTube. I, I just started to record the perfect moment. I love his music. Also, Ava, thank you very much for the 25 pound Jesus Christmas crackers. Thank you very much. You should really be saving your money. Thank you for the support, but please save your goddamn money. Right, so I had Twitch chat vote. Twitch chat voted on an Unga Bunga build, so we are Bunga the unga out of this, uh, which means we're probably going to start as a hero, because I do like the hero start for the Unga Bunga. Nice, de decent level of vigor, endurance, and strength while being dumb as shit, believing in no god, and being as dexterous as a brick on a rainy day. We'll also be female this time, because last time I'm pretty sure we were male. What will our name be? Perfect. Uh, body type. Well, that one. Uh, age. Let's go mature. Origin hero. Keepsake. Golden seeds. Base template. Oh, whatever. Detailed appearance. Load favorite. What we got? We'll start here, and then we'll edit. All right. Alter body. My screen just went black. Why have you done this? What just happened? Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it small now? That's what she said. <laughs> it's a penis joke after sex. Don't let it get small, lads, or you'll be laughed at. There we go. Let's put a little bit of hair on there because we go all naturally. Yeah, fucking, there you go. I don't give a shit, dude. She's buff as fuck. <laughs> Big head. Ah, uh, maybe a little bit small. There we go. Uh, and let's do uh, face and hair. Let's go hair. Let's change this to like a wild. Oh, I like it. I love it. There we go. All right. Pretty freaking sweet. Let's just goddamn go. She's a motherfucking head red. Motherfucking head red. Sure. There we go. I like the dark roots. Sure. Sweet. All right. <laughs> Eyelashes. Uh. Sure. Eyelash color. She's a motherfucking redhead. Hell yeah. Uh, cosmetics. Eyeliner? What's that? I don't believe in eyeliner. Or eyeshadow. Hey, eyeshadow lore? No. Eyeshadow none. There we go. I ain't about that makeup. I'm about that unga bunga life. Let's go. Um, yeah, I like that. that, that <laughs> I like it. That's pretty cool. I can't wait. To, um... Make it full screen again. My screen is black. My screen is not black anymore. I'm so used to seeing non-serious character creations. You actually make him look at a, a fun character is kind of neat. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Give me a second. I will fix this. The fallen leaves tell a story. Yeah, no, I just wanted to make like a proper, you know. In this world, I do believe this is what a muscle mommy would look like, right? Like, short hair that she cuts herself with her an axe. Um, good clothes, but like, just the cover the basics, the essentials, although she does need to get a breastplate soon. Big f off axe. Hell yeah, that's, that's it. That's it, all right. Buttons are good. That uses that, that uses that, that swaps that, that swaps that. Sweet, we are good to go. Um, hey, I, I can't do Jill Giant Crushers toasting because we're just doing one playthrough. That requires New Game Plus. You get big F off axe right away? That's why we're doing this build. The hero starts with a big axe. Don't expect me to pull any magic out here. It's been a long time since the last played Elder Ring. And, um... Well, the fallen leaves tell a story of how this boss is going to kick my ass. If I win it, you owe me 100 pounds. Thank you again, Ava, for the 25 pound, by the way. That's unbelievably generous. Up to you, Ava. Alright, 
I'll let this cutscene play because nobody ever lets this cutscene play. And I want a drink. We look like an anime protagonist. <laughs> it's very hard to beat that fight without some sort of cheese. It's a very relentless boss. But once you get stronger, you can really just tan it down in a few hits. Monster Rife! Thank you for the 46 month on a 45 month streak! Thank you so much. It's incredibly kind of you. Thank you. If there's a Steam sale soon, check if there's a Steam sale soon, Ava, because they'll probably put it on sale then. You just Google when the next Steam sale is. Hey, beautiful. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. If an earth-ending asteroid was striking exactly where you stood, would you try to run or would you try to parry it? Or something just to see? I'd probably... I mean, how long do I, ha I have, Mallow, before it hits? Hey, Lubia. How you doing? A bit too much back here. I probably should have eased up a little bit on the back here. How big's... Okay. You say Earth-ending asteroid. What's the point? <laughs> I'm dead, right? I mean, there, there's no point in doing anything. Um... Yeah, I mean, I may as well try and parry it, sure. But I'd be dead long before it hit the ground. See, the problem with parrying something is you need to knock it away. You can't... Sure, maybe you could knock away the asteroid, but how would you survive the mountain... Oh, wait, I can do the flask here. The mountain of superheated air being pressed into your body before the asteroid even lands. Five days until Steam Cell? Save, save your money until then. For sure. <laughs> Bonk. 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 You'd be fine, trust me. I don't trust you. I I trust you as far as I can throw you. And because you're nowhere near me, I can't throw you anywhere. Parried it, it wasn't even hard. Yes, shut up. Dumbass. Um, oh, we're probably gonna try and avoid the cheese unless we get super stuck. For those of you who don't know, you can cheese into getting a lot of runes very early from two bosses, uh, up to 100,000 actually, very early from two bosses. So I'm gonna try and avoid the cheese. I'm going to leave Kaled until at least after I've done the Urnia. Uh, but if I get really stuck, then I'm gonna cheese the hell out of it. And you're gonna suck it up because uh, I'm in charge here. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, dude, the tutorials in this game. I am Bungaloo. Oh, sorry. I am Bungaloo. Hey, Darcy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Oh, you mother. If I die to the tutorial boss. Okay, he's got no stagger. Get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. Jesus, I am swearing a lot today. I'm very sorry. Dude delayed his hit and caught me with a backswing. What an ass. <laughs> Goddamn soldier of God. Would you believe that I've honestly run past the tutorial, kid? I believe it. A lot of people don't even know it's there. Uh, 
Also, we're not gonna bang our head off the wall against the tree sentinel for three hours. Um... There we go. I was in Caelid before I found escape, Jesus. I wonder how different the character would have looked if we went face build. I would have probably shrunk her down, blonde ha blonder hair, no, like, proper makeup, like, artistic makeup instead of just... I mean, her eyes are beautiful. Um, what build are we doing? Unga Bunga. Uh, we did a vote. It was between Faith and Unga, and people went Bunga. I didn't even have a torrent and I killed it in myself with that chest, Jesus. For those of you who don't know, that guy's a freaking creep. What ending, what ending are we gonna go for, by the way? I wanna do every, like, major rune bearer. Um... But what ending should we aim for? I don't want to do Dung Eater. We could do the Flame of Frenzy and then do the Flame of Frenzy cleansing so that Melania doesn't have to die. But I don't want to do the Flame of Frenzy ending. Um, so our choices are a, a Duskborn, which is death, death touched fear. Golden Order, which is annoying, and I'm not Faith, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, Age of the Broken, which is the OG ending, or Age of Stars. No, last time we played, we did Age of Stars. We're not doing Age of Stars. We're not doing Age of Stars. Because <laughs> um, we did that last time. Uh, I don't think we need... No, we don't need either of those. I think we're good. Thank you very much, Kali. Age of Stars is the most cozy. It's literally a cold, broken night. What the hell are you talking about? We can do death. We can do the, we can do the Age of Death ending. I'm okay with that one. Hey, Nikto. Good to see, to see you. Good. Hope you're doing very well. But yes, so we're playing as Bungaloo. Bungaloo is a barbarian female from the uh, northeast, uh, western lands. Uh, the hinterlands. Who loves hitting things with a big stick and smooshes everything. She don't care if you're a man or a woman. You're gonna eat her out. <laughs> See what the 25 gift subs. Thank you very much for the support. That's insane. Thank you very much. Good lord, lady. Thank you so much for the support. Um, that puts us up to, I don't know, th 331 subscribers now? Thank you. I'm assuming this means you're feeling better, Darcy. Thank you very much, again. Oh, that's a lot of money, though. I know I haven't been around while healing, so I apologize. Everything you've missed is available on Icy Crest Unchained. In fact, the second episode of um, Outlast just went up, and I, I did censor the Whistleblower DLC. That'll be going up tomorrow fully censored. Um, like big pixelated whenever i look at that man who was turned into a woman it's all pixelated whenever i'm looking at my jubbly bits my plums getting nearly chopped off fully censored um i'm feeling a little bit of a delay when i roll Why is there... I swear this was an issue in the past. Oh, then delay. Uh... No, it's not an action queue. Hmm. Okay, listen. Click. Roll. Click. Roll. Click. Roll. There's a delay, and I don't know why. Uh... 
Hmm. We'll, tr we'll see if we can get used to it. Also, I need to restart. So the... The, the uh, settings go through. Thank you very much again, Darcy. And thank you very much again, Ava. And Lesser Evil and Monster Eyes. My screen is black. Doesn't smell like my PC's on fire. Which is a good start. Alright. There we go. Awesome. Play. So tell me, chat, how was your Friday? Was it, was it a good Friday? Had any endless issues with Steam the last three days? Have you updated it? You should update it. Have you updated your graphics drivers? You should update them. Have you updated your Windows? You should update that too. Updates, updates, updates. Updates, people! That's why the Twitter bird went from being a gorgeous little blue creature to dead. It's an X, right? So it's dead. Ooh. Damn, it's dark now. Look at my shiny hair. So I'm playing Elden Ring, just got platinum last night. Hell yeah. I've 100% uh, it as well. It's not called a platinum on PC, unfortunately. It's called No Life <laughs> on PC. But I got it as well. So you know what? I'll take what I can get. All right, this guy should not be a problem. I have first tried him. Oh my God, how out of practice am I? <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, uh, what's my equipment? I'm on medium load. That might help. All right, sweet. Flimdrick Talisman. Played some 70s with a mod pack earlier. Got past the first day without dying, so I take that. Hell yeah. Good to hear. Good to hear. You you test those demos, regrub. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'm just not used to it. I'm pretty sure Elden Ring has a natural small delay on everything you do anyway, because the character has to wind up to do an animation. So I'm wondering if that's the problem, and I'm just not used to it anymore, because I've been I've played games like Wool Long, where everything was instant. <laughs> like, you hit a button, your character's already halfway through the animation because the game predicted you wanted to hit it. I really shouldn't remind people that Wool Long exists. That game's going to be my shame. Going way back and playing the old Command and Conquer. I considered buying it. I really did. I might still do it. Because I really want to play Tiberian Sun. And Red Alert. <sighs> See, if this game was like Baldur's Gate 3, you could romance Melina. And Waiting. have sweet Empyrean babies. From beyond the fog. I am Melina. I love Tiberian Sun. Hell yeah, Trazel. I appreciate it. I offer you an accord. Sorry, I don't play music. Oh, an accord! Right! The of the finger maidens. They serve the two fingers. It won't let me skip. Offering guidance <laughs> and aid Great. to the tarnish. Take girls out in the campfire feature? Hell yeah. But you, I am afraid. It won't let me skip. Our maidens. The game didn't like my joke so much, it won't let me skip. I can play the role Why is my mouse on screen? Turning rooms into strength. You talk so slowly. To aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. I am going to eat you you need only take me with you ah! to the foot of the earth tree 
Sure. Yes, it's settled. Please. Let me skip. Oh, God. I bequeath to you this ring. It's so slow. Please. 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 My fingers are bleeding from hitting spacebar so much. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, I know. Okay. Stop fucking shut up! Alright. Level up. Uh, bu -bu -bum, -bu -bum. We'll put our first two into Vigor. There we are. You know what? If we're going pure no magic this game. Um, oh, I can't. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I had a cheeky idea, but then I forgot you can't do that in this game. All right, let's go this way first. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the second you get to that area, you get a horsey. Uh, am I allowed to use spirit summons chat? Every character gets a horsey in that area. Dude's got a pretty good anti stagger. Yeah? Alright, cool. I'll go get the spirit bell as well. Really? Really? <laughs> I tickled his arse hairs with that one. Need him not to set off an alert. You bitch. I want to see if I can get that guy's armor. Uh, it's going to be tricky with two of them on me. Ava, thank you very much for the gift sub. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, you did it twice? You charlatan! Must pass his shield. Come on! He, ha he cannot have all that much stamina left, dude. There we go. Ah, he didn't drop anything! I'm disappointed and my day is ruined! <sighs> Damn it! I like his armor. It's very, very low drop rate, though. Hmm, thank you very much, Ava. Thank you again, Darcy. And thank you again, Ava, again. <laughs> Can't believe Monster Rise has been subscribed for 40 plus months now, though. That's kind of crazy. It's a long, long ass time, dude. All right, that gives us the flail. I can, Jesus. Ow! Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Could you get up any slower, woman? <laughs> ah, I just wanted to go down and get the um I think it's twin blades there. No, no, it's not. It's um Ash of War at that point. <laughs> Bitch. Mm -hmm -hmm. You're not really spawning yourself by giving money to something that's free though, Monster Rife, are you? That's more like punishing yourself. I think this is an Ash of War. Isn't it a roar? Oh no, it's Storm Stop. Oh, and the Whetstone Knife, of course, of course. Excuse me. Thank you. A yoink? Uh, excuse me. Yoink. Yoink! 
God! Now I got stabbed in the ass because of you, game. You've always wanted to do it, so it's a spoil. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're not going to do that yet. Let's go this way. I hate you, and I hate your quest line. No. <laughs> it just, I don't know why I hate him. I do not enjoy his quest line. <laughs> I believe or is that only in modded no I think there's a sight of grace there in a modded I think it's the stake of America right now in normal You bitch. Uh, I should really adjust my flasks. I don't need, um, I don't need blue ones on an Onga build. All right, let's do this. This will be interesting. Hey, Master Blast, good to see you. I need to be careful because I will get distracted because of him hitting him. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I cannot let him get bleed off or I'm dead at this health pool. No! Oh, oh, God! A little bit of health there, buddy! I need something that's got a wider swing. I don't know if I want to do Grafted's Great Sword early. I could do, though. That's a good Onga build. Nice. Thanks for the help, buddy. I'll come see you in a bit. You play Elden Ring? No, I've never played Elden Ring in my life. And I'll never play Elden Ring. I think Elden Ring sucks. A terrible game, and uh, honestly, anyone who plays it just doesn't know what they're doing with their life. <laughs> uh, both say if you're online it has both um, no, sorry if you're on yeah if you're online it has both um, if you're offline it doesn't if you're offline it's just NPC ones um, <clears throat> I really need to get the lantern I have no idea what I'm doing with life. It has nothing to do with my playing Elden Ring. Fair enough. Uh, oh, what a unique and interesting chest. I wonder what's inside. Oh, no. I would never. Oops, I was a bit too close. Really? You're gonna try and rot me? Little shit. Wait, wait, please. I surrender. keep him alive. I like his quest line. And he's actually kind of friendly in this in this game. Finally come round, have you? Yeah, sure. Finally completed Metro Exodus. Hell yeah. I love the Metro series. Can't wait to play it again. 
<coughs> Metro series also terrifies me because there's lots of dark tunnels with spiders. <laughs> Oops. Ah, sneezes. Ah! I can't see. God, I need that lantern. Get out of the way. Okay, now I can see. Okay. Bless you? How dare you? I am Satan. I hate the spiders in Metro Exodus. I ran past them somehow. Have you played Metro Redux and Metro Last Light? Wait. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Last Light is number two. Why can't I skip cop like me? Now, now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a denny human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? It's E now. It used to be space, but now it's E. <laughs> when did that change? Don't forget, I'll be ready to I didn't talk to him last time. God damn it, I need to go through again. <laughs> you know what? We'll come back when we have 5k. I don't really want to do it now. How much we have? We have 3,274. Okay. Fallen leaves. Would you believe? Would you believe now? Okay. Health pills getting pretty stacked. Muscle mommy's getting bigger milkies. Let's go. D Darcy has been very, very generous. Sec. And I don't ever want to like, um, I don't want to like, I don't ever want to pressure someone to ever be that level of generous. I, I, People need to look after themselves. That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good way to say it. Sorry. I might become a... Nah, I don't really want to become a dragon. Meh. We could become a dragon even if we don't use magic, which is kind of nice, but... I don't know. I really like the eyeballs you get from it. Getting Hemi made it all worth it. I'm glad. I'm glad I could at least give you back something. Originally, I wanted to get Pencil Paladin to draw you a, a puppy, but he never did get around to that. You little shit. You almost made me bleed. The only person to make me bleed is Mother Nature. Suck it! <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. Oh, God. I thought he would be hit by that more. Really? 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 You're gonna stun me just long enough for him to get hit off. You little shits, eat it. Oh God. There we go. Welcome back, Class Evil. There's probably a way to set your priority in your settings, but I don't know what they are off the top of my head, Darcy. <clears throat> and your like chat settings. Bro. 
Bring it on, tiny man! I missed. Oh, that was my opportunity to stagger him and I missed. Stupid lock on. Skirt, you freak! I really should have grabbed the uh, summons before this. <laughs> oh. I honestly thought I got backstabbed there. I did not. I thought I got backstabbed there as well. I did not. Julius, more like Grave Warden Pulis, <laughs> cause he'll never shit again. Right, I like Engval. I might get enough mana just to summon Engval, cause he's kind of neat. <clears throat> he's not the most useful one, but I just like him. Ah, no, I could just use the doggies. Doggies are cute. I like doggies. Go doggy. No bone. Go doggy. No bone. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's head back to the Church of Battler. And you get a lantern. I don't think Kale sells the lantern. Hey, yeah, sexy. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Renna. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk I surmise. Is of thee. Yes. Thou art possessed of the power, no? Yes. Call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Yes. Ah, I was in strike, Torrent. Thank you for the bell. Tis a summoned Goodbye. spirit. Goodbye. That is the Goodbye. Goodbye. Forgive my intrusion. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Angval requires a hundred. We have seventy-five. Yeah, it's not really worth it. We can get that quite easily if we Wait, do the right uh, amulets. Goodbye. Oops, sorry, Kali. No, can't remember which one sells the lantern. I think it's just up ahead, though. Hey, Kitty Tats, good to see you. Hope you're doing very well. Um, right, let's mark what our catacombs. We can go further north. Hmm. Do we want to do south first? Let's do south first. South's quite easy. <clears throat> How are you doing, Katie Tats? It's good to see you. I think it is John Haas, yeah. Oh, do we want to take on Chuckle Brother Fam there? It's a bit early. Ah, you know what? It'll be fun to give it a try. Even if we lose. Has been a while since I last faced Chuckle Brother Fam. Hey, friend! Don't hurt me. Oh, I haven't even upgraded my axe yet. Whoops. I'm doing this without any upgrades except health. Which effectively just lets me survive one hit. <laughs> there we go. I'm noticing I'm getting a few frame drops randomly. Like, it doesn't feel 60 FPS. Which is really weird.
think that's bobbed your uncle right there. Nice. <sighs> Remember it gave me COVID? Oh, sorry to hear that, Katie. That sucks. Do you guys remember when it took me three hours to beat that guy in my first playthrough? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> Man. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> uh, up to 19. <laughs> Calm down, Jesus. I love the fact you can hear the corpses on the uh, poles screaming at night time. You can hear that, right? Hang on, listen close. Ow! Listen closely. <laughs> For some reason, when you explore this area at night, they start screaming. <laughs> Way back. You're driving me crazy. Oh, they're corpses. They're definitely corpses. But it's because you're waking them up. Could be. I scream exactly like that when I got woken up. Someone's at the door. That's all they hear from the background. Just stay clear of me, fool. Let's see, buddy. So this is a good night to fight a boss, uh, but there's no bosses nearby that are particularly easy. Unfortunately, we could go take out. We might be able to take on the queen right now. Get the demi human staff. I don't need demi human staff, but I think it's worth 200 rins. Um, you can't jump scared by your cat. It's just an adventure with you and that cat. I could take on Daryl. The problem with Daryl is he's very strong. I'm quite good at this game, but with Daryl, one mess up means you're on the floor bleeding out. It might be worth it though. Let's give it a go. <clears throat> I heard that, Rin Raven. It's a shame. He lived a good long life though. 60, 62, I believe he was when he passed away. See what I mean by one mistake? If he'd done a third attack, they'd have been dead. Really? That missed? Oh, come on! Jesus, that was tight. Woo. Very, very close. Almost very, very bad. But we're good. Rune, I don't have a parrying weapon. I'm Unga Bunga. I'm not freaking. I'm Lord Knight. I'm the same as me with my parrying buckle and a rip here. No, I'm I'm a, I'm Unga Bunga. I don't do that parrying nonsense. Parrying is for people who don't have rock hard abs with which to catch your sword when you try to stab me. <laughs> Ava, thank you very much for the gift sub. It's very kind of you. Thank you. As Unga Bunga, can you get the shield that is a flamethrower? I mean, technically, I can use that in my uh, in my offhand while I beat people to death with something in my other hand. Uh, well, Arrow, it seems like you managed to send that message fine, so I don't know what the problem is. Good to see you. Right. Uh, first of all, let's get up to 20. Second of all, I'm not ready to fight any Knight's Cavalry, so let's do that. I think 20 is high enough. I might need 24. Arena! Arena! Don't die, Arena! I love you! 
Hey, Arena. Hello, my type and my name is Servant Sly, but I swear my good father decided to. I deserve a new sins call, I fear it's please. Would you mind my soul, please? Of course. Oh, please. My mind. Deliver it to me. Uh, nothing terrible could happen if I just deliver a letter, right? Right. Glad you figured out skip. Me too. People talk so slowly in this game. It is agonizing. Does look like they cracked the calf bone where they implanted... What the f... They cracked the calf bone where they implanted and he was drilled into the bone. Is that why there was so much pain? I'm assuming that's that's healable, right? Rather fight 100 chickens or 5 swans? 100 chickens. Easy enough to kill. Um, the thing with chickens is they're... Well, chicken. The thing with swans is... Well, swans can break bones. Swans can kill people. The strength of a swan's wing beat is enough to snap fingers. You don't want to frick with a swan. But a chicken? Nah, chickens are easy. Even if they're cockerel, you just gotta protect your eyes, snap necks. A hundred's pretty dangerous, but human more so. Canadian geese are pretty scary as well. Swans are worse though. Swans will just straight up kill babies. They are evil little bastards. I wonder if you're allowed to eat swans in the UK now, or if they're still a protected bird. Now the queen's passed on. Oh god damn it, I was just lost! Stop pebbling me. And stop trying to crystal burst me! Wait. Yeah, that is crystal burst. I guess it's crystal burst. <laughs> I love it. She's a demi human queen with a magic staff. And her best spell is, I cast fists! <laughs> there you go. It was burst, yeah. Oh shit. Finish him off, puppies. Call our geese cobra chickens because they're so nasty, yeah. I'm a summer guy when I was young, they fought Flynn. The first week, kids entertained themselves by chasing swans. One week, the uh, swans were no longer scared, and then they started chasing us. Yeah, swans are very dangerous creatures. They were protected in the UK because they were qu the queen's official animal, but I can Hang on, I'm going to Google this. Can you eat swans now? Swans are no longer eaten. They're still protected species. Okay, I remember they were the queen's official bird, so you couldn't eat them. <clears throat> Rin Raven, is that confirmed lore or is that someone who's high on bath salts making videos claiming that it's lore? So that sounds to me like someone's high on bath salts claiming that it's lore. It's on the page, check it out. You know anyone can edit a Wikipedia. I could go on the Wikipedia page and right now and say that Marika sat and spun on my willy. Doesn't make it true. Although I wish it was true. She's a very pretty lady. And also a dude, if you're into that. <laughs> uh, wait, hang on, do I have enough? No. Barely sure. I'll use the thing that uh, Patches gave me. <laughs> oh, let's do some more stuff. Some more vigor, then we'll do a little bit of endurance, then we'll do a little bit more strength. Google has the same answers, confirmed lore as far as I know. Ah, yes, Google. The absolutely fair and not at all manipulated AI run drivel of an engine that literally won't serve you any search results of anything you want and is inherently racist and biased. Yes, Google, the best source of information. <laughs> I literally can't find the answer to any issues I have because Google's search engine has stopped being a good optimized service and started to become an AI run garbage shovelware piece of shit. I 
I hate Google now. On it, it's terrible. It's honestly terrible. In order to get any answers for any issues that I have that are not biased in nature, the only way I can find to do that is for every search that I make on Google now, I have to put Reddit afterwards. So it brings up other people who talk about it on Reddit instead of looking through Google's garbage selection of bullshit answers, none of which make any sense or even moderately related to the topic that I'm Googling. Long story short, fuck you, Google. Thank you for paying my bills. I was going to dodge that. There we go. Um, the only search engine out there that I know of that is less like, I'm now going to show you what we think you want, <laughs> is Yandex. And Yandex is a Russian owned company, so you can't even fucking use that. <sighs> there's the there's one of the three scythes that are in the game, by the way, for the person who wanted a scythe only build. The winged scythe. It's really cool. It's it's a really cool weapon. It's just having only three scythes in the entire game kind of kills the vibe for me. On scythe only. It'd be really, really nice if they added more scythes later on. I don't think I have any keys yet. I don't think I've gone through any dungeons to pick them up. <clears throat> but yeah, finding stuff is only going to get worse now with the prevalence of uh, uh, AI run websites and stuff. Hey, Sam. Good to see you. Bing gave the same answer, I see. <sighs> yes. Let's use the website called Bing. Do you know what Bing stands for? Because it's not Google. Honestly. Honestly. So stupid. Such I hate search engines. And Rune Raven, I'm not arguing with you as to whether or not that's true. If that's true, that's a cool fact or whatever. I was just making fun of people who make lore videos. Um, the only lore video people that I watch now are Vata Vati Video. Everyone else can suck a fat one because it's all clickbait. Do you know the American man sick? No, they didn't. You just want clicks because you got massive honkers in a thumbnail. You dumbass piece of ass. I guess what? Those videos get promoted to people because it's advertising and clicks. What about that one guy who does the horror movie breakdown stuff? I love Roanoke. Roanoke Gaming. Absolute Chad. Dude does great videos. Love his content. But he doesn't really do lore videos. He does... If these were real how would they react and how would they work videos it's not a lore video it's different but yeah I, I love Roanoke who cares about who's sticking their willy into which hole I care about which hole I stick my willy into and I'm pretty sure other people would raise some eyebrows if I was sticking my willy into uh I don't know what's a weird hole uh, the Grand Canyon <laughs> that'd be pretty weird yeah is it against the law to have sex with a national monument? I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, that would be impressive. Not really, Darcy. Have you seen how big the, whole, the Grand Canyon's hole is? It's crazy. Yeah, dogs are dead. Oh, holy shit, dog survived. I honestly thought I was one. Really? Like, I swear to God, the game is having frame rate drops. Like, it's very smooth now, and then it becomes very framey whenever I try and dodge. Look at that. Are you seeing how framey that gets? You know what? I might actually use the FPS unlocker. I'm playing it in offline mode anyway, so why not? Oh, there's the spell I was worried about. I am 
amazed that he didn't get staggered there. Ow. <laughs> Rune Raven, I don't want to use the the Serpent Slayer. It's a boring weapon. It doesn't require upgrades. I'm aware it's one of the best weapons for speedrunning. What? I was healing! Where was my mini? When you're healing, you're meant to take half damage! I fucking timed that shit as well. I timed that shit on purpose. Your friend got suspended for college for having a water gun? I don't blame the college, to be honest with you. We had a bunch of acid attacks in London uh, a while back. And then people were going on to... There! Right there! Did you see that frame drop? Um, people were... Pretending to scoot water bottles... Or water on people, pretending it was acid on the London underground. They got charged. Honestly, if someone came up to me and poured a random liquid onto me, I don't care who you are. I will genuinely punch you. I don't care if you're male, female, I don't care how old you are. Random liquids getting thrown on someone is incredibly dangerous. And I will defend myself. There is not much more, like, if someone came up to me and slapped me, okay, all right, cool, that sucks, ow. I'll probably ask them what the hell they're doing. But if someone threw a random liquid on me and I had no idea what it was, I would freak out. I would freak out. Because that shit is dangerous. You don't know if that's acid. You don't know if that's some slow acting toxin. A hit is a hit. Like it's done, one and done. Liquid is so dangerous. Just me or your attack trying to missing for no reason? It's not just you. I was really wondering what was going on there. Like there. Like, like there. I was hugging him and both attacks missed. And there again. I don't... <laughs> None of them missed last time. Ow. Ow. Oh, great. Hey, could you kill this guy for me, please? You... Really? You missed him? Really? Mid-dodge! Hmm. Don't think it's type of anger to heart? Yes, it can. What are you talking about? With those big ass swings? Of course it can. I wanna I wanna interface uh sorry. In game. Top left. Keep an eye on that FPS counter. If it drops below 60, you let me know. That's a terrible place for it. There's also a terrible place for it. Bottom left of the screen. No, it seems pretty solid. I wonder what my frame drops I'm perceiving are. Guys overtaking the FBI's, I'm keeping an eye on it and it is locked, like right there, his animation was super framey, but the FPS stayed at 60, so I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe this is just how the game always has been, and I just haven't noticed. Really? You cast it twice? You cast it twice? What is wrong with you? And he cast it again. Jesus Christ, is he just gonna spam this bullshit move? Right there, frame it. Ah, oh, rolled too early. They botched something in a recent update? I don't know what it is. Um, 
tell you what I could do. Hang on. Um, what I'll need to do is stick a marker because I want this to be an enjoyable playthrough. I'm not playing online for that specific reason. So what I can do is do this, blank out the screen. Uh, wait for this to quit. Fucking Elden Ring's just blacked my screen out again. What is going on with this game today? Okay, Nexus mods. <laughs> In a world of pure imagination. Okay, should be fixed now. Is that a 40 and 40p thing or can't be either? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I remember that, Tavi. That's crazy. Uh, so, frame rate lock, 120! <laughs> and that's literally all we're going to do. We're not going to touch any of the other shit. I just want my frame rate to be up. So it's less framey. Continue. Okay. Oh, oh, that looks so much better. Let's see how it feels. The one problem with unlocking the FPS to 120 is sometimes elevators break. <laughs> Other than that, should be fine. You guys won't see much of a difference, but I'll be able to play a lot easier. Oh, that looks so much better. Is there a visual difference on your guys' sides? Or is it just on my end? Oops. Oh, come on. I really need to watch out for that overswing. Uh, for me, it would be hard to judge. That's fair. Mostly your end, buddy. It's fine. As long as I'm having fun. One day, we'll be able to stream 120 FPS, 1440p on Twitch. Also, the dodging is instantaneous now, which is amazing. That move's the one that keeps getting me killed. Ah! I'll probably do this for the DLC as well. Because you can still get achievements at 120 FPS. Really? Really? You're gonna stack me into- Really? Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Wankers! Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking assholes. It's a bit warm in here. Da -da -da. Is it time for double weapons, Icy? I don't have enough endurance for that yet. No, no, I don't have enough endurance for that yet. Um, plus, I don't have the weapons for it. Dude, my timing was off by two hits.
That's one there. Nice. No worries, Smugglers. Thank you very much for popping by. Looking forward to you coming back. Do you listen to any podcasts you enjoy? No. I used to listen to General Sam's podcast, uh, but I just kind of stopped listening to it and then never went back. Um, but no, I'm not, I'm not a big podcast guy. Oh, that's a lie. Sometimes I, I watch the LTT podcast. Uh, but always after the fact, never as they're streaming. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Can't believe they cancelled the Mandalorian FPS. I mean, it's... What do you, what do you expect? This, every game gets cancelled these days. It's probably as soon as the show stopped being as popular, they were like, Okay, cancel it. But sir, it's almost done. I don't care. Oh, I probably won't make a million billion dollars. Is it live service? No? Ah, we'll cancel it. <laughs> it's not live service. It's not worth it. Assholes. They said Timefall 3 is in development, Lesser Evil. I don't think it's even worth me going up to the Frenzied Village, to be honest. Does it have loot boxes? Oh, what do you mean it's illegal in Denmark? Oh, well, fuck the Danish. Let's just put it out there anyway. <laughs> I'll have I become Scottish. <laughs> it's Denmark that made loot boxes illegal, right? Or was it Norway? It was one of those countries. If it doesn't have a profit margin of $500 million per person on a free-to-play game, I'm not interested. Belgium, thank you. Thank you. I, th I thought I heard they stopped development again for Timefall 3. <sighs> These people don't know how to make a good campaign, dude. Hello. You have... You don't have... I hate you! Hatreds! Well. <laughs> Don't ask me what that voice was. I do not know. Right. We're going to avoid the Frenzy Flame Village. Can't be arsed. Let's go this way. Um, I hate loot boxes. I hate... I, we, we ran about that yesterday, right? During Outlast. How much I hate the big companies these days that run all the games and just... Literally, it, like, games aren't fun anymore. Helldivers, exception. Power World, exception. Those are exceptions to the rule. The rule isn't make a fun game. The rule is make a profit. Make a profitable product. Instead of making a game so fun it becomes profitable, people make a game so profitable so it can maybe become fun one day. I hate, hate, hate that business practice. All right, Willy Wonka. Remember when Baldur's Gate 3 came out? And all the companies came out and said, Oh, well, you can't expect us to make fun games just to make a profit. No other game like that is going to come out because it's just not feasible. And then Pal World came out. And every company was like, Oh, well, it's just not feasible making a fun game so it's profitable. And then Helldivers 2 came out, and they're conveniently very quiet now. Yeah. Fuck you, big companies! God, I hate Nintendo, but they make really fun games. They're one of the few companies out there that actually make fun products now, even although they're cancerous ass on the cyst of gaming. I mean, Helldivers isn't a AAA game, Lesser Evil. It doesn't have anywhere near enough content or... Um, well, I can't say that. Actually, Skull and Bones is a quadruple-A game. You know what? Helldivers is a quintuple-A game, obviously. What happened to the days where big publishers and developers would give lots of small companies a decent chunk of money to make a fun game? Instead of just buying all the fun IPs and then closing the companies because they won't make the games that they want them to. What, what, do you guys remember when that was a thing? Do 
Joe, what's your favorite part of Hell Divers? My favorite part of Hell Divers is how cancerous the community is. I sent a very heart. I sent a heartfelt message of like, "Good job, guys," to the uh, community manager because I felt like the hatred in the Discord was getting too much, and I personally thought their update was amazing. I don't know why everyone else is complaining. He dropped a sanctuary stone. I'm so disappointed. I wanted his hammer. Funny had passion and brains, yeah. If I was the leader of Microsoft, because like Microsoft right now, he's like, we lost the console wars. We don't have enough good games. Microsoft rakes in an astronomical amount of money from their video games. An astronomical amount of money, right? Give a few million to developers to make games. Developers that have made great small projects that were successful, give them the money. Give them the resources required to make great games and you'll probably make bank. I still can't believe how they murdered Halo. Halo Infinite looked so promising. Had zero content when it released in terms of multiplayer. I literally have never wanted to go back and play the Halo Infinite campaign. I have replayed every Halo campaign probably hundreds of times. Except Halo 4. And I've never played Halo 5 because I don't have an Xbox. Um, Halo 4, I think I've played probably in the double digits. 11 or 12. I don't know. Um... Halo 5, I literally have never played because I don't have an Xbox. Um, if Halo 5 released on PC, I'd buy it and play it because it's Halo, but I would probably never replay it. Halo Infinite, literally never replayed the campaign. I have never even had the wish to replay the campaign. They made a really fun sandbox. The vehicles were underpowered. The vehicles were underpowered, and the explosions were unsatisfactory. Other than that, though, the guns felt great. The movement felt amazing. And then they slapped on the most bare bones, horrible open world. The missions had promise. Like, the, the actual enclosed, locked-in missions, where you're, you're fighting through an actual set sandbox, had promise. It was fun. It was engaging. The first boss fight was actually really interesting and a pain in the ass, if you guys remember. And then they made the rest open world and it was lame. It was so lame. It just reminded me of Ubisoft. It just reminded me of Ubisoft. And then the one thing I will never, ever, ever forgive them for, and I'm sure the developers were passionate, I'm sure they did their best. I will never forgive them for setting Halo Infinite on Zeta Halo and not having a single mention of Mendicant Bias or the Flood. The Halo Ring that is known for the Flood and for Mendicant Bias, the two biggest antagonists in the Halo universe. You set the game on the ring that they are contained on and you didn't even mention them. That is a lapse in judgment. I have never seen since the dinosaurs used summon meteor magic. Holy hell in a handbasket. Anyway, that really annoyed me. <laughs> I love the Reavers. I, I love Firefly. Firefly is such a good show. Um, and the Reavers are such an interesting. I think the Flood are infinitely more dangerous than the Reavers could ever be, to be fair. But they're still, like, really fun antagonists. I need to rewatch Firefly. It's a good show. I am so sad at what Halo's become. It's so sad. I really wished better for my baby. The thing that got me into gaming. 
Halo 2001. Now let's go a little bit of strength. We'll go endurance after we get strength up to 22, because I'm pretty sure this thing is 48. So, which means I need to get strength up to 24. Mm -hmm. Ava's been watching Better Off Ted after my recommendation. That's a phenomenal funny show. It's not like an amazing show that will stick with you for the rest of your time, but it's one of those really funny shows that you just want to keep watching. You know, it's a good time waster. Halo Infinite plus one. Maybe it will. Okay, my... Axe did not go where I wanted it to. Uh, really? You're a charlatan! God bless America. He is not staggering. I've forgotten the stagger time for this guy. This guy has a dope sword. That's not even the sword we get for beating him. It's really annoying. He should be using the grafted great sword, and I don't know why they don't let him. Maybe his strength size is high enough. <laughs> oh, come on. Get one, one more hit. There we go. Right. What was that again? I am not. Oh, 40. It's only 40. Okay. Uh, so we need 30 to, to wield that. Cool. Don't worry, Straco. I know Shreem paid for a special mod, less Twitch travel, and one of four things. Would you consider using that mod when it's made public? No. No. There are mods already in existence where you can have, like, Twitch chat pay bits to mess with your game. I would consider using that. Um, I will not use a mod that just lets people give me stuff, because that seems boring. Wait till I actually get to... I haven't decided if I want to use the axe the whole game. Probably not. It's not a very interesting weapon. Um, so, crowd control? Yes, crowd control. Let's go tickle the, tickle the ball sack of Kaled to get some more runes, and then we'll do Stormville. Um, no, 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 let's do the cave first, and then we'll tickle the ball sack of Kaled to, before we do Stormville. I can never get Brett's crowd control to work for you. That's probably for the best, Darcy. Also, oh, Brett had a problem for a while where the wrong crowd control link was linked. I think he fixed that since then. Yeah, it sounds boring, Rune Raven. <laughs> it's not. I, I, I appreciate you wanting me to do fun stuff, Rune Raven, but for me to do fun stuff, it also has to be fun for me, or I don't have fun, and then I don't want to do it, and then I don't do it, and then we have a playthrough that's left unfinished again. You know? That's why I don't want to do it. What is fun for Icy? Do you watch my stream? I'm having fun right now, except for the arguing. <laughs> I enjoyed Outlast. I enjoyed Alien Isolation. I'm enjoying this. I enjoyed. I I I enjoy playing games without being fucked with. Um. Occasionally, crowd control is fun, but most of the time, no. Most of the time, it's just suffering. There are people who love that, and if I wanted to make an absolute fortune, I would do it all the time. I don't want to do it all the time. I'd much rather have fun. I hate stuff like FP. I hate stuff, but who the heck? What? What? What gave you that idea? In what world do I hate? FPS is my favorite genre. Literally. <laughs> what the fuck are you? Are you high? Yeah. 
Yo, he seems to have the most fun playing grinding games. Not so much anymore. I'm really... That's why I didn't play in Shrouded. Dude, I'm so bored of that gameplay loop. I am so bored of that gameplay loop. Just gather materials, craft a bag, craft a pickaxe, gather material. It's so boring. Um, it took me a few years to get tired of it, but I can officially say I, I, I can't do it anymore. Um, I'll still play Sun to the Forest at some point because that's at least somewhat interesting and you don't need to do that. Halo is an FPS, yeah. Um, but, like, Sons of the Forest does it in an interesting way where you don't need to grind, right? You can just play through the entirety of Sons of the Forest while only building a small base camp. Um, so I love Sons of the Forest for that. I can't do Valheim anymore. I tried. I tried, but having to stop progress every half an hour to go and cut down trees, mine ore, wait for the ore to be processed. Oh, man, it's tedious. Pal World was okay. I enjoyed Pal World because the pals did most of the bullshit for you. I stopped be having so much fun in Pal World when I hit the ore block where it became a grindy game, right? That's when I stopped having fun with Power World because we came grindy. Um, but yeah, no, I can't do... Uh, Enshrouded just seemed like a tedious bullshit to me. Um, a few other survival games have come out since. I just can't. I can't do it. Um, love the forest. Absolutely adore the forest. Because you know what? In the forest, you don't need to grind shit. If you want to grind, you absolutely can. You can grind until you have the biggest base in the world surrounded by traps and that can be fun sometimes and i had a ton of fun doing that with brett and luke but when i'm playing alone when i'm by myself without other people to rely on to make shit fun i ain't grinding and some our sons of the forest playthrough i am probably going to cut down a couple of trees to make a tree house to make a safe bed and then the entire rest of the time, we're going to be a nomad roaming around the island, collecting everything we need. And then we're going to go to the final boss and we're going to go bang, 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 bang with everything we gathered on the island. And it's going to be fucking awesome. I'm going to love it. And then I'm never going to play it again until Brad wants to play it. That's, that was my stop. God damn it. There we go. Um, Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out soon, but I never did play the first one. So I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll enjoy it. You know what? I'll probably, I'll wait until I see Brett stream it, and then I'll decide if I want to try it. That's probably the smartest idea, because he's going to play the hell out of that. Stop it. Whoops. Seven days. Seven days to die. What? Are you? Oh my god. Chat. Okay. Chat. I want you all to go to your cupboards, clean it out, and look for the one brain cell that you're missing today because collectively you're all idiots. Rune Raven. Oh, you hate FPS. Meanwhile, Call of Duty and Halo are my favorite games. Not the new Call of Duty. New Call of Duty sucks, Willies. John. Oh, seven days to die isn't grindy. Naming the most grindy game on the planet. <laughs> I'm saying collectively, Darcy. A lot of you are smart. It's just, you know when the dumbest person in class gradually drags down the average IQ of the planet? Yeah, that's what's happening. Seven days to die is the grindiest game on the planet. The entire game is grind. What's that? You want to use a shotgun? Oh, well, you got to go find a hundred books and read them to learn how to make that shotgun. Because if you don't, the shotgun you find in a random chest, you're not going to get ammo for. And bonus, does like five damage in a headshot. <laughs> no, Seven Days to Die is not a game that is grind free. It is the grindiest game in existence. You want to build a base to survive the seventh day? You gotta grind. 
You gotta grind. Um, I am going to Lark, so I will probably not get a chance to say goodbye to everyone. So I'll say this now. I hope everyone has a delightful day. And thank you so much, Isaac, for a thoroughly enjoyable stream. Hope you have a good one, Tavi. Thank you so much for popping by. Unfortunately, with you leaving, the collective IQ of chat has just dropped by another digit. <laughs> I am playing with mods that bring back the learn by doing system, so no need to grind loot for those stupid books. Oh, you're right! The learn by do system, where you have to craft 600 stone axes to learn how to craft an iron axe! And then you have to craft 600 iron axes in order to learn how to craft a shiny iron axe. No. Seven days to die is fucking stupid. I love, I love the game, but it's fucking stupid. Um, I don't know. I'm just not into it anymore. It, it's, it's a personal thing. There are people out there who are absolutely into it. But I will ask you to respect the fact that I am bored as shit of that kind of game style and stop trying to convince me that, oh, I see, you're just playing the wrong game because I know what I like. I know what I like. Yeah, I can't do Planet Crafter anymore. I really enjoyed that game when it first came out. The thought of going through that grind again just bores me to death. <laughs> you know? Because that game was kind of grindy. Sorry if I came across like that. John, you didn't come across as trying to tell me that my opinion was invalid. You came across like a fool. Trying to tell me that the most grindy game in the universe isn't grindy. But that's the reason why I probably never enjoyed MMOs. Like, New Worlds, I, I just realized I've gone through this without resting once. I have no healing left. It's suddenly a lot more dangerous. Go. That could have gone terribly for me going through this without resting. Um, but no, I, I just can't do it anymore. Um... So, but I mean, I, there's not too many games coming out soon. Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't like about it, Darcy. Um, there are definitely games coming out soon. Like, that seem interesting. Um, like, for example, uh, I need to go down quite far for these. Where was it? Alone in the Dark looks really interesting. Dragon Dogma 2, we'll see when it comes out. Uh, South Park looks interesting. I've never played a South Park game, so that'll be fun. Uh, Life Eater, I think, looked interesting. I can't remember. Uh, Manor Lords, I think that was the really fun vampire-looking one. Homeworld 3, I'm very, very excited for. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, and then Elden Ring, Shadow of the Archery, so. You're absolutely right, John Haas. If I want to have fun in Seven Days to Die, I have to grind Nexus mods to look past all the mods that make zombies have giant breasts that jiggle when you hit them in order to find the few mods that will maybe make my excitement peak. No, not interested. Not interested, never will be. It's poopy. I loved Vampire Ava Orchid. I had to stop playing because it crashed constantly. That's Vampire with a Y. It, I was having a ton of fun with it. And then I got to a point, I don't know what I did to that game, but every time I loaded, it crashed. Every time. It sucks. <laughs> So maybe one day I'll, I'll I'll go back to that. It would be a really fun stream game, to be fair as well. Um, maybe one day I'll go back to it and try again. I only got, I think, six hours into it. So there's definitely room for me to go back to that. Um, sec, I've always wanted to play Half-Life 1 and 2. And I know Black Mesa is the way to play Half-Life 1 now. And I believe there's an Unreal Engine remake of Half-Life 2 that is the way to play that. It's just, it's like, you know, I've got the list of games I want to play and that those games are so old that they're so far down on my list, I can't see them from up here. One day I'll get it. 
I'm down to see you play speedrun through Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors doesn't interest me, Darcy. I really enjoyed it when it first came out. But again, I mean, that game is literally about grinding. <laughs> you, just, you just walk around while your character kills things and level up. Yay. I had a lot of fun with it. I think I did like 30, 40 hours on it. And then after those 30, 40 hours, I put the game down and resolved to never play it again because I had my fun. And it was well worth it. What a great game. I am really sad that I'll never get to play the VR Half-Life though. That game looked really fun. Are we thinking of the same games, Darcy? Hang on. Let me show you what Vampire Survivors is. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, wow, look, another one of those really cool ad game ads are totally real. This is Vampire Survivors. This gets a little bit more challenging, but this wave here is just three levels, baby. Awesome. At this rate, I'm going to have to call it an L and just pick something. This game doesn't have a story. You can't really speed run it. My oh, Unfortunately. Um, it's just a case you just go into a map you run around in circles until um, Until you you 20 minutes passes and then you win um, It was really fun, but I am not into it and I am not a speedrunner either I can somewhat speed halo 1 to a respectable degree just because I know a few tricks But I wouldn't even I don't even think I'd get within the top hundred on the leaderboards so Yeah, I have YouTube Premium. I think YouTube Premium is worth every dime, to be honest with you, with the amount of YouTube I consume. All right, let's go dip our testes, or I, well, sorry, I'm a woman. Let's go dip our ovaries into Kaled and then duck out because I promised I wouldn't do any Kaled stuff until we're done with Lyrnia. Uh, I think I have about 200 hours in Warframe. This was back when it first released. Back when the map for, like, traveling to different worlds was a PNG. Uh, this was during the first beta. First alpha? First beta? One of the two. Um, and I played the hell out of it. And then I logged out, logged back in three years later. And unlocked Loki Prime. Logged out, logged back in, I think, last year tried to play it and just I'm so con I don't know what to do I don't know where to go what to do there, there, there's no indication Forgive me. like I've unlocked so many planets <laughs> that are out of order that I have no real order in order to progress so I just don't do it anymore teach the run plus it's really grindy same reason I don't play destiny 2 anymore it's too grindy had your measure from the very start, whereas <clears throat> I merely pretended. There is but one other thing. You guys remember Firefall? I can, offer you I can take gathering very well. Anyone here what remember you? Firefall? That was a really fun game. You'd like call down a giant drill and then bugs would bury out of the ground and go, and try and eat it. And you'd have to defend it. And you got a guy with a big guy with a jetpack and a shield. They've mismanaged Firefall to the nth degree. That poor game didn't deserve to die the way it did. I'm being a good girl this time. Uh, hey, what's up, Small Bean? Good to see you. Are we medium weight now? Oh, we're still light. Maybe we can put on some shoes. No. Worth a try. Hiya! I don't need to talk to you yet. Greetings. I am circumstance. Um, do you think where I come? I'm trying to think what cause I'm not super excited for any games right now. Other than the Elden Ring DLC, but even then it's just I feel like I'm just kinda I've been spurned so many times by terrible company companies. I wouldn't break up because anything added you felt though it is, come back. I will take 
anything added in Warframe requires 500 years of grinding to unlock. And uh, I barely have 40 years left in me, dude. So, <laughs> nah. I don't have the time for that shit. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to have to play a second full-time job just to enjoy a game. <laughs> you know. Um, I'm enjoying the mechs they added to Hell Divers too, though. See, because Hell Divers, I guess I kind of have to defend that. Hell Divers feels like a game that respects my time. You know. I go in, I play a mission, I come out. I don't feel like I'm grinding, I feel like I'm contributing. And that's a big difference. In wall fi in, in, in wall finders, in Warframe, I feel like I'm grinding whenever I'm trying to do stuff, because I'm doing stuff purely for me. Whereas when I play Helldivers, I feel like I'm contributing to the war effort. I feel like I'm helping the community, and it feels really good. I would defeat one medium level chess bot. I'm half decent at chess. I'm not amazing at chess. I'm probably about six, um, ugh, Jesus. Probably about 900 rating, which isn't great. I could, I could be a medium, medium level chess bot. Especially in a fist fight. <laughs> you, you put me up against a medium level chess bot in a fist fight, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck it up. <laughs> I'll faint with a left hook and then grab its nuts. Uh, Fooly, are you trying to piss me off? <laughs> yes, I'll play EVE Online. That's a game I'll enjoy. You know what I miss? I miss... I miss when Elite Dangerous was fun. Once I hit a billion credits in that game, it just wasn't fun anymore. I didn't do my physic. Where's the stagger? Oh, come on! You should have been staggered. Would be easier to kill an AI with a glass of water. Not if it's backed up. Did you get in the right brain space for looking at fear again? Fear too. I don't know. I feel like I'd enjoy fear too. Um, I just, I've got Wolfenstein to play now. I'm really excited for Wolfenstein too. The problem with fear one, it was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. It just felt... I think because of how old it was, it felt really clunky sometimes. Um, and I've heard that Fear 2, you're not playing as the Pointman anymore. Which is a bit sad, because I kind of wanted to see the story advance a bit on the Pointman's aspect. Like, he's the son of Alma. But we'll see. I'll maybe get back to it. Oh, I didn't see the slash S. Sorry, Fooly. Can you stop casting your... Damn you, wizard! Stop casting your hippie spells and fight me! Oh my god. Oh my god! I got blocked by a light. I almost got blocked by a light again. Stop it! <laughs> I can't engage you in there, you slut! Ah, oh, it was too late. Oh, come on! What game was it? Seven Days to Die. Seven Days to Die is an unbelievably grindy game. I'm really enjoying Wolfenstein. I'm looking forward to the second one. There's something so... Because, like, it's, it's not... It's not good enough to just make a game where you shoot people. The story has to be good. So while I was enjoying shooting people and robots and Wolfenstein, I was really enjoying crushing that guy's head, murdering that guy with a chainsaw. You know, that's what really brought, brought it in for me. Same for Outlast. Anyone can make a game where you wander through a spooky 
spooky hallway or an abandoned psychiatric facility. What really made Outlast special to me was the reason you were doing it, the story, the idea that you were capturing this moment in time, frozen on a film to bring justice to these people who were wronged. A peek into the broken mind of humans, brought low by technology. It was so good! So good! This guy's really hurt. Really, really, really hurt. <laughs> I should do my physic. No, 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 no. Hey, Samurai, good to see you. Um. Yeah, games like Outlast are a dime a dozen, but none of them really match Outlast's personality. There are a lot of FPS games out there. A lot of FPS campaigns, a lot of games that try and emulate stuff like the new Call of Duties, for example. And they are so unbelievably boring because they're all the same cookie cutter nonsense. Meanwhile, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, amazing characters, interesting campaign, interesting setting, really fun. Titanfall 2, amazing campaign, amazing story, creative use of features other companies have done before. Oh, whoops, I didn't do my jump attack. I'm seeing diminishing returns on dual wielding there. Like a single, a single attack's 116. I believe when the game first came out, when I originally did my dual wield run, I just doubled that damage. Now it seems to only be 1.5, which is interesting. And it, the length of time it takes for me to do that is kind of a bit meh. Uh, you got your gecko. Oh, hell yeah. What'd you get? Did you get the leopard? Did you get the crested? You got a leopard gecko? <laughs> Male or female? You can tell by the testicles. If it's too young, you won't be able to tell yet, though. COD Infinite brought back the aliens for COD Ghost. Can't remember what they named them. Oh, they, that was really fun as well. I really enjoyed that mode. Um, let your little new gecko settle in for a couple of weeks before you try and do any handling. Uh, I'm sure the shop owner talked you through it all. You gotta give them a couple of weeks to settle in, get used to their new surroundings, find their favorite hides, stuff like that. I don't know if I didn't have stamina or something there, but the dodge didn't work. That's not good. God damn you level 20 piece of shit. I think he's a higher level than 20 to be honest. You know, the kind of games I really miss enjoying are RimWorld. I used to love games like RimWorld, where it's like a colony management game, but I just... There's been so many of them now, I just can't get back into them. Damn. Um, this is the same guy, but I'm fighting him over and over until I beat him. Um... Yeah, no, like, I used to love RimWorld. I still enjoy games like Factorio, but I can't play them anymore. RimWorld and Factorio are still some of my favorite games of all time, but I can't do it. Auction Not Included is the same. Colony management games just died for me. They died a death. I think again, because they were overdone.
Um, and this is coming from someone who never played Sims. Which always seems to surprise people. I still enjoy games like StarCraft, uh, Stronghold. I love RTSs. I just, the generic colony survival games and long games like that, I just can't get back into. You need a gecko name? What kind of gecko personality are you working with? If they're skittish, you got skit. If they like running around, you got scam. If they're a little goofy, trip. Or trap. Although trap has more context these days. I did not see they'd announce the sinking state too. You know, sorry, I've lied. There is one colony game I still absolutely adore. Frostpunk. Frostpunk? God damn it. Was phenomenally fun. And I want to play more Frostpunk. And I think Frostpunk 2 comes out sometimes this year. Very chill and playful. Eh. Nerk. <laughs> if it's a male. You go with Slewy. Cram. Cram's a good name. It's more for a shy gecko. Less. As in Lester. Really? Nice delay. I enjoyed the Arbillions and never beat it. Uh, I beat a couple of skirmishes and I played, I think, half the campaign and then never went any further into it. I am going to save him for later because he is a spellcasting whore and I am going to admit that I'm not good enough to beat him yet. I need to upgrade my weapon and I'm not upgrading the weapon we have right now. We're just not doing enough damage or um, stamina damage to take him down. Maybe I can kill a dragon instead. I don't think so. I really need to get I really need to figure out what weapon I'm actually want to rock the campaign with um, I could go get guts sword. I really like guts sword But I don't want to do more with this axe and I really don't want to upgrade this axe until I know Remember spec ops the line. I loved spec ops the line. What about it? I did spec ops the line on PC because I'd never played it before. What a phenomenal game. Why'd you like geese so much? Because they're strong, independent, don't listen to anyone, and in my entire chat are geese. Oh, they're also honking mad. We have a pecking order here. I can keep going. That's not good. That might be death, unless I can dodge. I dodged them. As soon as you see him rear back to do the fire, Especially if he's going into the air to do it. If he's on the ground doing it, you hit his foot. If he's in the air doing it, you get on your horse and you ride like the wind, Bullseye. I think I've fought too many dragons in this game. <laughs> These are just really cool, loyal animals. Um, yeah, I loved Frostpunk. I don't know, I just, I'm really excited to play more Helldivers too, but I limit myself, because I'm already, I can already feel myself getting a little tired of it. So I limit myself to only doing my daily orders, and if there's a major order, I'll do one or two to contribute to that until the next major update, and then I'll play more. Yeah, are you Death's Poker? Death's Poker is a faith weapon. I'm not doing faith. Although I appreciate the, uh, the, what's the word? Suggestion. Heal. He didn't even hit me once. <laughs> Poor 
Okay. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a little brutal. <laughs> we absolutely destroyed him. I really have fought too many dragons in this game. <sighs> I say that, but then when we go to fight Glintstone Smarag, I'm going to grab the key and run like a bitch, because Glintstone Smarag does not mess around. That man is a... Tr well, that dragon is a truck in disguise. Oops. There we go. Yeah, the Glintstone dragons are evil little bastards. Twin blade, and sell that later. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Lassie. Um, yeah, no, I just, uh, I'm, uh, in terms of games that to stream, I'm looking for more RPGs or games like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you too. Uh, I, I really, there's a game called, so obviously we're going to intersperse horror games because I don't want to run out of horror games and horror games get me viewers. Um, but there is a game called Deus Ex that I've never played. I'm bored of Baldur's Gate. I'll do it with the rascals, but other than that, no. Um, there's a game called Deus Ex that I've never played that I've heard is amazing. So I want to try that at some point. And, um, I know, I was really enjoying Dragon Age. I need to watch out for games that are too long, though. I think Elden Ring's right on the cusp of being too long. I can go through it really quickly because I've played it a lot. Um, but I'm, I, I think it's right on the cusp of being too long for some people. And playing a game for too long, like Dragon Age, I was loving Dragon Age. Dragon Age was so fun. <sighs> But I had to stop it because I was getting a max of like 20 viewers on it. Uh, I can't remember where the map here is. Should be. There? Yeah. You had a phasmophobia. Okay. Uh, we will do that, have a chit chat with him, do the castle, and then I guess it's market time. Market time! Oh yeah, that's a uh, rude bear. They're nasty. Bearded dragons are amazing pets. Don't let me throw you off of bearded dragons because I know I talk shit on them. Um, they are amazing pets. They are very personable, full of personality, full of joy, and they can be one of the most rewarding reptiles you can ever keep. Um, I just personally don't like them because they require a very hot vivarium. Their poop smells, and they are notoriously weird sometimes. Um, but I just, like, I have all the animals I need in my collection. I know it's a collection, you know, it's reptiles. But I have all the animals I need in my collection that are personable. Poop smells, no way. For reptiles, genuinely, leopard geckos, they're amazing. Their poop doesn't smell weird in what way? Just in their behaviors. Like completely arbitrarily one day you'll be like hello little chunkin how you doing and then they'll go wee, 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 i hate you now wee, 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 and start nodding their heads up and down because they're horny <laughs> fucking shut the fuck up you little shit before i turn you into chicken nuggets and eat you you know um but i have my blue tongue skink i have my tegu um those are two reptiles that require a lot of work a lot of work to become personable to trust you and bearded dragons also require a lot of work to become personable and trust you so if you just want them as a show animal by all means but i feel like that's a disservice to just how special a bearded dragon can be 
If you put the time in, bearded dragons can be some of the most special little creatures you'll ever own. And I don't have the time for that. I have two big reptiles that I barely have the time for now to give the time that they deserve. And adding another one to that would just be unfair. Whoops. Really? Really, rat? Oh, you're going to f rat. I hate you. You're seriously going to get me killed here. This is not a fight. I want three and a three for one for off. Dogs take the heat off. Um, but no, uh, bearded dragons are absolutely rewarding pets. You just gotta make sure you bring in. That's the other thing as well. Bearded dragons require a lot of fresh stuff. Um, fresh greens, fresh salad. Blue tongue skinks and tegus require that as well every now and then. Uh, tegus less than blue tongue skinks. But you can also get the nutrients they require from the greens in dog food, which is very helpful when you got frustrating animals that don't want to eat. Whereas you're not really meant to feed dog foods to um, bearded dragons. Uh, so it's not quite as in, quite as important to constantly have fresh greens on hand. Um, so, you know. That's another downside to beardies. Hey, Rude Bush. Been a hot minute since last seen your lovely face here. How you doing? Do, do, do. Actually, it's not, I'm pretty sure you were here, I think, a week ago, right? I was worried that would be too far. You been sick? No, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better soon. Uh, snakes are easy. You just feed them once a week, maybe once every nine days if they're a fat snake. Change out their water, make sure their poop's cleaned up and they're all good. Lapu geckos are phenomenal because they always poop. Oh, that is something uh, that I should have mentioned, um, Samurai. Your leopard gecko will pick a spot to poop in and it will never change it. Every time it wants to take a poo, it will always be in the same spot. So get yourself a little slate or a little uh, plastic square or something. Wherever your leopard gecko poops after the first couple of times, put that there and it might clean up infinitely easier. You can even put paper towel on top of it to make clean up super easy. It's so good. Um, right now, I don't have a poop tray for either of my leopard geckos because I'm supposed to be moving within a month. So they're both my leopard geckos and my emerald tree skink are currently on paper towels in preparation for moving. I've left the substrate in with the tag and the snake because I don't want to stress them out unduly. Um, just realized I can't fast travel because technically I'm still under the influence of the trap. I really want a sandfish skink. I just think I don't eat. I would. They're not a handling pet. You can't handle a sandfish skink. I mean, you can, but it will stress the poor thing out. But they're so fun to watch. <laughs> just diving out of the sand, doing a little wiggle, grabbing a cricket, and then disappearing under the sand again. Quick as a flash. Whoosh, little whip of his tail. A white crack of his rubber tail. And the beast was done. Yes, just be your angel. I love that song. And we said nay! We are but man! Rock! Ah. Let's go kill the uh, mariner. Wow, wow, wow. Um, but I, I don't want to go too far on my reptile pets. Because there is going to be a certain point where it becomes. Because, as with any pet, you, you get to a point where you're like, Ugh, you know, when you first get a dog, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to walk this dog every day. And then like six months later, eight months later, you're like, all right, time to walk the dog. You know, it's the same for every pet you get. You still love them. You still care for them, but you go through moments. And I want, I want to make sure that when I do eventually go through a moment with my reptiles, they're not, um, I don't have so many that becomes tedious to take care of them. 
right now I can clean them clean out their vivariums refresh their water and spray them down in a half an hour every day uh, faster if I'm just changing their water and spraying them down a little bit longer if I'm feeding so that's it that's enough time for me to be like okay we're getting we're getting to the limit now <laughs> if I'm ever like oh reptiles yeah you gotta be aware of your limits especially if it's not a job Um, so eight is like my upper limit, I think. As much as I'd love to get sandfish skinks and crocodile skinks and African fat tails and more snakes and oh, why not another tegu? You know, it's just not doable. All right, she is a whore who very much sucks to fight sometimes unless you're super aggressive. Cause she just gets the upper hand and then just keeps swinging. <laughs> she also has an unbelievably large amount of health. I did not expect that to take my entire stamina bar. And she one shot me with wild strikes. Yeah, that's a different NPC. Is that a theme? All hostile NPCs are red when they invade you, Ava. <laughs> there, spawn. Come on. Damn it. She was faster than me. Well, there goes the opaline. I was really hoping to use that for the fight, but it's gone as soon as I cast it. Really? Oh, you're up. Fuck you. Oh no, no, my weapon's so short. I'm gonna get the gut sword and use that. This, this ax is too small for me. Have a lovely sleep, Master Blast. It was good to see you. Um, I want to finish off all of Limgrave today. And then tomorrow we can start on Stormville and get some of Liarnia's done. Liarnia. Liarnia. Done. And then... Oh, not tomorrow. Sorry, tomorrow's Saturday. Monday, get all of Liarnia done. Um, Tuesday, get Caleb done. Wednesday, get Lindell done. Thursday, get the mountaintops done. Friday, finish the game. Seems like a reasonable time frame. Um, there might be some delays because this game is huge and I do love it. And completing it in 15 hours is very optimistic. Oh god, you faster than me! Oh, I really need to upgrade my weapon, but I don't want to do it until I get a weapon I actually want to use when I get the game! Oh, curse my indecisiveness! <sighs> that is the one thing that's holding me back right now, is my weapon still is plus zero. It really should be plus five or plus six by now. I'm doing like three times the damage. And I think it increases the stagger as well, doesn't it? The wrong one! God! Well, one less healing for this. Oh, short ass weapon. Damn it. I was really wanting to go for the stagger there. I'm pretty sure she was close. Really? Really? God, fuck you! Anastasia! Eat my ass! <sighs> I 
Maybe 16 hours? <laughs> Not 15? <laughs> Anyone got any video games they're excited for though? Like we've spoken about what I'm excited for and what I'm kind of bored of. What about you guys? What, what, what are you thinking? Are there any good horror games coming out soon? Oh, I jumped straight into that. Problem is, she still has a heal to pull out of her vag. So once I get her below this, I now need to attack relentlessly. Stop her healing! God damn it, now I need to heal. Really? Ah, no heal for you. Suck my ass. Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm curious on Stalker 2. Stalker 2. Yeah, I'm very curious for that game. That's going to be fun. Um, what is Drag... Okay, because I never played Dragon's Dogma. We were going to play Dragon's Dogma, but then I got confused between Dragon's Dogma and Dragon Age, and I really loved Dragon Age, right? I loved that game. Um, but what is Dragon's Dogma? Because I never really did, like look into that properly. Is Dragon's Dogma 2 something I would enjoy? I am so bored of indie horror games. They're all the same thing for me. Unfortunately, Lucky Mass. <laughs> I don't think there's been a good indie horror game for a hot minute. I don't think there's been a good AAA horror game for a hot minute. I, I'm looking forward to that Zookeeper game. That looks somewhat interesting, but that was an animated advertisement. You saw the YouTube advertisement for that mobile game earlier. That will probably just be a click and drag game, right? It, advertisements don't mean anything right now or these days. Hell, look at what happened with the day before. Advertisements mean nothing these days. All right, this is as deep as we're going to go into Kaled because I don't want to cheese the game because I just want this here we go I could also probably grab that golden scarab I love dragons I think dragons are amazing one of my, f my favorite not even one of them they are my favorite mythical beast Go. We'll see when it comes out. I'll watch Brett play it and judge from there. Maybe I'll take that night off from streaming just so I can watch his entire stream. Okay. Uh, let's. Sorry, didn't mean to upskirt my girl. Bungaloo is going to be upset. Uh, 31, which we should be able to do with. Oh, I can't do a wield in here. God damn it. What level did we get it to? Plus three. Ah, uh, plus four, sorry. Sweet, 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 sweet. Um, don't really want to do faith scaling. What have we got right now? Stamp uppercut. I'll keep stamp uppercut, I think. Uh, 
should be enough. Thank you. Let's do more in vigor. All right. Let's see how good this sword is compared to our last one. I never played Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, unfortunately. This wasn't something I was super interested in. See, this is a weapon fit for a barbarian queen. I am out of stamina! Ugh, I need to raise my endurance. Wait, oh, I don't have enough stats even when I two-hand it. I was wondering why I was doing so little damage. Fuck, I thought I had enough stats when I two-handed it. You see that little red X on the bottom left? That means my stats aren't high enough. How high do my stat? I thought, I thought this was only 25. Oh, maybe it was 35. Hang on. 31. Two-handing should be... What's my strength? I should have enough for that. Two-handing gives you plus 50%. Which would make... Why is this not working? Did they change how two-handing works? Because I thought two-handing gave you an effective plus 50% strength. My dex! Damn it! It's my dex! My dex is low! Ah! <laughs> I need 12 dex. <laughs> oh, I was so confused. I was like, yay, we got the sword! It's good! It's all good! We got that! No, no. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Come to fuck with you again. <gasps> Back to the axe! Sorry, your dex is so small. Hmm. I think I need 9,000, maybe 10,000 runes to crack this. I don't think I have enough stuff for that. That's one. Five, six. This is going to trigger a lot of people. People do not like it when you sell stuff in these games. Post up to 8k. It's so close. So close. Um, hmm. Do what you must, streamer man. Ah! Ah! Ah, so close! Okay. Uh, let's. I don't think I can kill the Crystal Knight like this. Um, I don't want to take on Margaret until I actually have my weapon. I could do... I think he only gives you 3k though. We'll do him. Because he's easy. Um, nobody, nobody really spoke about any games they were excited for, guys. Come on. I want to know. I'm not going to judge you. I promise. Even if it's an NSFW game. Okay, I might judge you if it's an NSFW game. Or is it just that there's no games coming out that anyone's really excited for except Elden Ring and Dragon's Dogma? Any- Oh my god! Anyone excited for The Last of Us 2 Remake 4? <gasps> They're gonna make Joel's abs 3% more pixely! Or last pixely, I don't know. Something like that. Oh my god, I can't wait for The Last of Us Part 2 Remake 5? Yeah. I don't know what to expect from Alone in the Dark, because I've never played an Alone in the Dark game. 
but it looks like just the name alone <laughs> intrigues me. thousand four hundred okay we need another thousand uh where are we gonna get that before doing stormvale <sighs> we've done that cave we've done that cave i don't really want to do the underground noctis yet noctis is that the name of it i think so um alters the sims meets the survival game in space with office drama that's unfortunate that i'm really not feeling those simulation games eh where did I just get another thousand runes from? Wait, where did I just get another thousand runes from? What the f***? Have a lovely sleep, Smugless. If I really wanted to like... I mean, if I wanted to make the game trivial, at this point, I could just go and kill the Night Cavalry and the mother of dragons and get a free 100k runes but i really don't want to it's just so boring boring hey pian good to see you abiotic factor would be fun see that's a game i don't mind so much the grind for because the grind's literally built into the exploration this guy gives you a thousand runes every time you beat him I just need to actually beat him and not get absolutely stomped by his power attack. Really? Can you stop using that attack, you whore? There you go. Oh, I thought he gave me a thousand every time. He only gave me 200. Play the Command and Conquer collection, Pian. I love the Command and Conquer games. I can't remember which ones I actually played though because it was years and years and years ago. Although I played through the first one again recently. Level up. 12. Bam. Bing. Bang. Bong. Cause it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Looking forward to Ghost of Tsushima coming to PC. Is Ghost of Tsushima a good game? What do you think, chat? Is Ghost of Tsushima a good game? Is it a game I would enjoy playing? Can you hear me? Help me. Ghost of Tsushima was an amazing game? Alright. When does that come out on PC? Because I will definitely give it a shot. Thank you for your flesh. All right, it's time to beat Mark. Really? R really? Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like Saitama trying to kill a fucking mosquito! <laughs> I can't fast travel while it's alive! I don't even have any...
That was easy. <laughs> um, May 16th. Okay. So that's in a couple of months. Um, it's a bit away. I just smudged my glasses. Son of a biscuit. Okay, that'll do. All right. Let's go kill. Uh, I reckon we'll do... We can try and do the, the, the Crystal Knight first. <laughs> One lyric sound like something farted, even though now I know the word was parted. Oh, uh, well, too late to apologize. I wasn't singing the actual too late to, to apologize. That's a different song. Too late to apologize is about going to an Alvin Island um, called Too Late to relax because the Alvin word for relax is apologize. Everyone, Get your lore correct. Cause it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Let's see if we look as good as she does when we sit like this. No, we don't. <laughs> Can you Pian, thank you very much for the 60 pound donation. The only thing he said was Ghost of Tsushima. He didn't say it was for Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> so I can use the money for whatever I want. Nah, I'm kidding. Thank you very much. I'll definitely check out Ghost of Tsushima when it comes out. It's incredibly generous of you. Thank you very much. Between you, Ava, and Darcy, we have made an okay amount of money today. Thank you very much. Ah. <sighs> I think I said I needed a hundred pound a day to stay afloat when I moved to the new house. Uh, we definitely exceeded that today. I think we 150. Did you finish God of War? No, I made the mistake of trying on the hardest difficulty. Smashed my head against the wall for three to six hours and I never played it again. <laughs> that game was hard. If I played it on a normal difficulty, I might have finished it. <laughs> we got we got really far. We got past Jormungandir on the hardest difficulty first playthrough. But then it just became excessively hard. Which is fair, because the game literally says, Hey, don't play this on the hardest difficulty if you've never played it before. But then chat was like, Ah, you should play on the hardest difficulty! Really? Why is your sword bigger than mine? Oh, for Christ's sakes! Have I forgotten how to beat the Crucible Knights in the short time I've stopped playing? What I really need is something to parry him. But I can't do that. Because... I don't have a parry weapon. You just will not stagger, will you? Try again. Darcy! <laughs> Sorry, Darcy! Fuck I missed that! Darcy with a hundred pound donation because it's been a hot minute. Thank you so much! Jesus Christ! Avo the 25, Piano the 60, and Darcy with the 100, topping us off at a fat £185 today from donations. Thank you guys very much for the support. 
That's unbelievably generous of you all. Thank you. God damn. And Darcy with the 25 gift bomb earlier as well. But we don't talk about Darcy when she gifts subs because she doesn't like it when we talk about her gifting subs. Thank you so much for the support, guys. That is incredibly kind of you. End the week on a high note, yeah. Thank you very much, team. Ow! What? His shield blocked that? He was in the middle of an attack! That should not block when you're in the middle of an attack. You guys remember when I beat Sekiro on mouse and keyboard? Pretty much using nothing but the, the, the axe thing on my arm. Because everyone's like, you can't play this game like that. And I was like, well, fucking watch me. <laughs> I love Sekiro. That's another game that I just, for some reason, really don't want to go back to, though. But I get the urge to play the other Dark, like, Dark Souls over again, and obviously I've replayed the hell out of Elden Ring. For some reason, I don't get that urge with Sekiro. Ava, <laughs> if you need to watch your funds, you shouldn't be wasting them on me. And it is a bit of a waste if you need to watch your funds. I'm not going to say I don't deserve it, because I do work kind of hard sometimes <laughs> but if you're at a point where you need to watch your funds you please look after yourself before any kind of donations to anyone online not just me try neil instead of sekiro i looked at neil it doesn't seem to be my cup of tea pian um it seems like a dollar store Sekiro to me, but one with more farming and numbers, and I'm not into that. Um, but each to their own, you know? God damn it, he's so close. Oh, you fuck! Got him. That was close. I love Neil personally, it's really fun. Yeah, no, by, by all means, if you enjoy it, play the hell out of it. It's just not for me. Not for me. Um, I think it's a conversion scan from USD pounds, like $30 on the hundred. Wait, what? Yeah, sorry, it's like 130. So it's like, for the longest time, it was 1.51 USD to a pound. But that's changed. It dropped quite far. It was almost one to one. What is it now? Uh, can I flip this? Really? Really? Do that. Okay, so it's 1.3 to. I died to a goat! I died to a goat! My health was that low after that fight that I got two shot by a goat while I was Googling exchange rates. But yeah, it's 1.3 USD to the pound, which is rather impressive considering everyone was like, ah, if you need the EU, it'll drop down to 0 0.9 pounds to the dollar. Um, although I still don't think we should have left these here. <laughs> but that's me personally. I'm not the smartest cookie in the in the uh, jar. Sure, that works. All right. Are you guys ready for the last boss of the stream? It'll post up to a clean three hours as well, which is kind of nice. We are going to beat Margaret the Fell Omen. Uh, that'll unlock us access to Stormvale, which we will then do on Monday. God, I love this sword. It's probably my favorite sword in the game. I know it's a basic sword, but it's so good. Um, but that will unlock um, Stormvale for us to do on Monday. We can get a chunk of Lyernia done as well on Monday because Stormvale doesn't take that long. And um, yeah, we'll be absolutely glorious. I would love to stay and play longer tonight, but I'm, I am getting hungry. I want to go eat something. I joined right at the end. I'm sorry, Piat. You, you and Darcy just donated a fat chunk and I feel kind of bad. Um, if I feel up for it tomorrow, because there's there's no Rascal stream tomorrow. Um, Sam might stream, but we won't be doing Baldur's Gate. So if I feel up for it tomorrow, maybe I'll stream, but no promises on that at all. Uh, I don't want to make promises I can't keep. 
Don't make a girl you promise you can't keep, you know? That's our business. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. I think I might have over-prepared for this fight a little. Oh, congratulations to you and your, your fiancé. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, it doesn't affect him in the second phase. It only affects him in the first phase. Forgot about that. cheese where you get a free hundred thousand runes at the beginning of the game by killing the dragon or the, the duck black knight but i still first tried margit with no effort required god i love this game Um, before we end as well, I should probably do Saints Bridge. Oh, Lucky Mouse, you're expecting? Congratulations. Honestly, anyone who's expecting deserves a congratulations because it means they successfully sexed someone, which is great. <laughs> Any day now, Jesus. Why are you watching my streams? Your baby's gonna come out swearing like a sailor. Going like, I'll beat my Yeah, it's not. It's not ideal. Shut that dude. I'm gonna hit him just to shut him up. Did you say you wanted to call it inputting data or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. But then I forgot. And then we played Outlast, and it kind of reset my opinion on what NSF life really is. Really, dude? Ugh. Oh, I just realized we have 15,000 runes. I probably should have spent that before I did this. Huh. I just hit his horse and not him. Oh, normally that works. I'm surprised it didn't this time. Finally landed a hit. <laughs> Who else am I going to watch? Barney? Uh, you're going to have a lot of Dora the Explorer or Baby Shark in your future when that baby comes out. Hope you're looking forward to that. <laughs> Here, let me get you started. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. And I'm not allowed to say anymore before I get sued by a Chinese company. That is brutal. All right, cool. Really? You just saw me kill a night cavalry, and you want to start? <laughs> you little freak. That song was played at my wedding. Even. God, I can't stand that song. I, I, the first time I heard it was when I visited IGP, because his kid loved it. And oh, by the end of that visit, I wanted to tear my eardrums out just at the sound of it. And I've never listened to it since. It was only that trip where I heard it, and it stuck in my mind like a worm, like a dastardly evil little worm that just crawls inside your head feasts on your frontal lobe and makes itself a home in your brain and you can't get rid of it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. 
But I don't have problems. That's, you know, it's just a personal thing. Nope. Good hit. No. I really need to stop holding my power attack all the way through a jump attack, so that's how it move cues everything. Cutting his ice is bigger than bedtime story. Yeah, as soon as I finish it. I'm looking forward to moving house so I can actually set up and get that done. I'm feeling a little discouraged about it just because it's been so long. That and I didn't get feedback from the last few chapters. Everyone who was meant to be reading it! Although, to be fair, that's mostly just an excuse because I haven't had the energy to write more. Oh, Jesus Christ. After all the work you put into that house, Darcy. I'm, I'm assuming it's so that you can go back and look after your parents, but wouldn't it be easier for you to move them out somewhere near you? Instead of, like, selling your house and moving out there, they sell their house and move down near you. Not in your house, but, like, buy a smaller house somewhat near you. I think that's every night rider in this area, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Go, 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 go. <clears throat> the Robo Rag song was great. They couldn't afford it even with selling the house. Cost of living here is outrageous. Ah. Damn, I feel like... I don't know, like, I, I'm, I'm very callous when it comes to that sort of thing. And I'm sure you love your parents wholeheartedly. I've obviously had some difficulty with my parents. I'm going to end the recording now before I say this. Bye, YouTube!